It's Monday, and you know what that means. Absolutely nothing, because we never maintain an upload schedule. But I hope your Monday's going well, because most Mondays are notoriously shitty. With that being said, let's go over this SMG, the Callus Mini Tool, aka the Mida Mini Tool, essentially the year two version of it, brought to us through the Menagerie. And by the way, for those that are interested in getting this weapon, these are the rune combinations. But today's video is actually gonna be us diving into a number of roles here. We've been playing with this weapon, trying to find and pinpoint the God roll for both PVE and for PVP. So first up, intrinsically, minus synergy, superb handling, move faster with this lightweight weapon equipped, this weapon grants additional speed benefits when Mida Multi-Tool is also equipped. Now, the speed benefits does not actually play a role in the weapon's handling, meaning things like the weapon's draw speed, as well as aiming down sights, is unchanged. So the speed benefits that Mida Synergy is referring to is quite literal here. It actually just refers to the actual speed of your character. You'll notice it in your strafing speed, and we're gonna definitely talk in more depth about this combo, as well as what traits actually pairs best here. But first, let's go over the roles that I have, or at least the ones we're gonna be reviewing today on my mini tools. First up, this role right here comes with corkscrew rifling, ricochet rounds, eye of the storm for that increase in accuracy, and handling when you're low on health and surrounded. Now the big trade on here that we wanted to test out was of course Surrounded, especially when we pair it with something like Surrounded Spec. Again, Surrounded is a trait that gives your weapon bonus damage when three or more enemies are in close proximity. Now we're pairing this with of course Surrounded Spec, which also increases the damage granted by Surrounded and the bonus damage lingers for a brief time when no longer surrounded by three or more enemies. Now, Surrounded Spec allows for Surrounded to stay a little bit longer, so even if the enemies around you are killed or step out of that proximity, you can retain the buff for at least a second or two. Now, it's not long at all, and that is like my biggest complaint with Surrounded, is that the buff itself does not stay long, even with something like Surrounded Spec. But the benefits that we gain here in terms of damage is pretty nasty, boys. Callus Mini Tool inside of PvE. It's 185 per crit on Greg, and then with Surrounded plus Surrounded Spec, that throws our damage up to 299 per crit. So that's about a 62% buff there in damage. Now for PvP, this actually throws our damage from 19 per crit and 11 per body to 30 per crit and 16 per body, giving us a 58% buff here in PvP and actually out damaging the recluse in crit to crit damage. Matter of fact, Taraba, the exotic raid SMG, is the only one that can match crit damage to our Callus mini tool with Surrounded plus Surrounded spec. Now that all sounds great, but we know that it's difficult to get procced and of course to proc it and stay alive. Yes, you can dive into a group of enemies, but it's a good chance you're gonna die before you get the full effect of this perk. But the lethality is there. And for certain players in certain scenarios, it is extremely potent. And for PVE, especially if you have a number of ads around you, dipping in on that extra 62% buff to gun down majors is extremely nasty. When comparing it to the damage values of Recluse, Recluse is doing 185 per crit here on Greg, and even with Master of Arms, it's doing 279 per crit. But as you know, Master of Arms does not stay unless you're getting consistent kills. So Callus Mini Tool, when comparing it to Recluse, is actually a better weapon when it comes to melting high health targets like Greg. Now, of course, Recluse is the better option when it comes to just clearing out ads, especially if you're rocking it with something like a minor spec, giving a base damage value here of 403 per crit, and with Master of Arms plus Minor Spec, 610 per crit. And of course, you get five seconds there in which it procs and stays as long as you're consistently getting kills. Now, both of these SMGs are clearly outclassed by Taraba, especially in PvE with something like Ravenous Beast, as that weapon was hitting 399 per crit against Greg. And of course, Ravenous Beast, as long as you're consistently doing damage or getting kills, the perk stays activated. So it kind of gets the best of both worlds in terms of like clearing out large portions of ads and melting high health targets. Now, before we move forward, is Callus Mini Tool, despite it having some very major competition between it, Recluse, and Taraba, does this SMG have a place here in PvE? I think with Surrounded, it does. Although you're gonna have to be very mindful of when the perk is actually procced and when to take advantage of it. Again, this isn't like a 
sword or a shotgun that has surrounded on it that already puts you in the thick of things. This is an SMG. It does have a little more range. And so there will be times that you find yourself outside of your enemies and surrounded is not even being procced. But once it is procced, yes, it's disgusting, especially when paired with something like surrounded spec. Now in terms of like the God roll, the role that I would use for PVE, if you're gonna roll with something like surrounded, I think an obvious favorite for this one would be threat detector, as both of these will proc when in proximity of those enemies. And since threat detector gives you increased reload, stability, and handling, it's the perfect trait to combine here with surrounded. Now, I wish the reload speed was a little faster. I mean, is that 37 by default? You could, of course, increase this with either Flared Magwell or even something like Alloy Magazine because if you're coming from Recluse, and you're used to having something like Feeding Frenzy, this reload speed is gonna seem like it takes forever. And unfortunately, Feeding Frenzy is in the same column as Surrounded. Now, if you happen to be rocking some gauntlets that give you increased reload speed here, then I would just go with one of these perks that increases our magazine size. Again, for PvE, especially if you're gonna be doing Surrounded, you don't really need ricochet rounds because that's actually gonna push you outside of the range and conflict there with surrounded. So you're gonna wanna be in the thick of things, boys. Now, as far as barrel perks go, I did like using something like Arrowhead Break. Now that of course will max out that recoil direction, making things a little more manageable and vertical for you. So to me guys, that is the ideal role and maybe even the only role I would use in PVE. As for the most part, Recluse outclasses it in every other way. Really, Surrounded plus Surrounded Spec is the only thing giving Mini Tool here a fighting chance. Now moving on to PVP, is Surrounded still a perk we should be using in PVP? And like I said earlier, there will be a select few players that will take advantage of the role that I'm talking about. Threat detector, surround it, proccing both of these inside of PvP. The role that I just mentioned can easily make this SMG a nasty one inside of Crucible. Again, at 30 per crit, you're looking at a time to kill value of 0.4 seconds if you can land your crits. But I will say, if you happen to be pairing this weapon with Mod and Multi-Tool and you're trying to get the most out of this synergy, you may want to consider moving target. Now the reason why I bring up movement target, movement target actually increases movement speed and target acquisition when moving while aiming down sights. Now of course, when paired with something like minus synergy here, and you happen to be rocking out minus multi-tool, you can imagine the crazy strafes you could pull off. Which takes us to our other two roles. One role here we actually got with a ranged masterwork. It came with arrowhead break, which was extremely convenient. Ricochet rounds, moving target, and feeding frenzy. Unfortunately, I didn't get surrounded on this one because I would love to have seen this exact role, but with surrounded instead. Now, of course, the main reason why we were testing this, I just wanted to see if moving target was actually a good trait to use here on mini tool. I liked it guys. I could tell an immediate improvement, especially when it just came to snagging shots. Now, our next roll was more or less the consistent roll. This one was arrowhead break, ricochet rounds, dynamic sway reduction, and tap the trigger. Now this one did not come with a range masterwork, but I wanted to see how tap the trigger and dynamic sway reduction worked as tap the trigger essentially gave us that initial increase in stability and in accuracy and dynamic sway reduction maintained that accuracy as we continued to shoot the SMG. Both of these worked pretty decently. I felt like tap the trigger probably dwarfed what dynamic sway reduction was trying to do as that's a really noticeable perk. But given that this weapon does have a 0.67 time to kill at nine crits and two body, having something maintain that accuracy throughout the magazine is extremely helpful. So in terms of which role I would look for for PvP, you can go a lot of different routes. If you wanna take the surrounded threat detector approach and literally just like jump into the thick of things, rock out some astrocyte versus, blink into a group of enemies, have both of those perks proc and just start spraying into everybody, that is definitely an option. Now, if you're looking for a little more help in terms of like target acquisition, as well as boosting your movement speed for those 1v1s, surrounded plus moving target is not a bad perk combination, as you kind of get the best of both worlds here when you can actually proc surrounded. You'll get that damage buff, but the weapon will still be consistent. That would actually be the role I would choose. And again, everything that we're trying to do here is give mini tool a fighting chance, especially in PvP against weapons like Recluse. So guys, that is the role that I would try. Again, this is not gonna be for everyone in PvP. I would 100% though try Bottom Tree Devour with Astrocyte Verse, blink around, get into the group of enemies, and just start going to Pound Town. 
Now, what I would really like to see is at some point, Surrounded Spec gets a buff there in duration, allowing us to hang on to that Surrounded buff for a little bit longer. And again, all that's doing is just rewarding aggression, rewarding aggressive plays, which is a win-win in my book. So guys, that is Callus Mini Tool. It's got some potency. It's got a fighting chance against things like Taraba and Recluse. And the way I look at it, Taraba, especially in PVE, is the best SMG with Recluse at second and Mini Tool with the role that we just mentioned with surrounding surrounded spec is a close third so guys get your hands on it. fellas and ladies thank you all for coming and watching and as always slap that like button like your mama told you right